this is me voices and i'm back with another video this one's going to be about um, my mirror gazing story and i have two to share um depending on how long this video is i might make a part two but if um it's short then i just might put them in both or put both videos in one excuse me but um okay I remember the first time I mirror gazed, which was around January, in mid-January of this year. It was my first time doing it. Um, I, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to recollect exactly what all happened so I can tell this story properly. But um, I remember looking in the mirror and getting myself in this trance-like state looking from this side to this side, this side to this side, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and I remember saying, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And as I was asking myself this, I could see my um, my eyes and my face change. One side of my face had morphed into a reptilian like uh, 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 structure my eye was about this big and it was slanted up um and it had like this this the white part in the eye that that's usually there had this um uh gold look to it the pupil was slit and it was black um and my skin it was like this bumpy armored scaly look to it and then this side had turned into a lioness on this side and then it turned into a panther on this side. And I remember my eye morphing with a lion and then with the uh, panther's face. With the lion's eye, her eye turned into uh, this brown, chocolate brown look, chocolate golden brown look. And then the panther, it turned into a, a jade, a jade kind of greenish look. And, and as my face was morphing, um, it suddenly just settled back down and then it became my face again. And um, after that, I had done research about it and I uh, have Draconian bloodline and I have Lyrian and Syrian bloodline in me. These are star seeds. If you don't know what they are, I will include the link in the uh, description so you guys could um, read about the different star seeds. And it, it was some, oh ladybug. And it was something I had pondered on for a long time. I didn't understand it at first. Um, when I had first mirror gaze, I didn't know what it was. Um, I thought I thought it was something wrong with me. But then I had realized it was no wonder why, when I was a child, why I had loved dragons so deeply because I was a part of their bloodline. I was um, a part of that, that um, ancestral um, uh, dragon bloodline. And I am not a, 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 a lower draconian. I'm one of the uh, the alpha draconians. This will go into the royal bloodlines. Um, but moving on to, to the, the next mirror gazing story. Uh, I remember I had tried mirror gazing like a few months later after that again. Maybe a couple weeks later, or whichever one it was. But I think it was like a month or so later. Um, and I remember you know, staring at the mirror again, saying my chant over again, who are you, who am I, who am I, who am I? And um, I remember when I opened my eyes, I looked very deep in them. Um, I could see like my aura too, like my silhouette, just like, just just shining. I could feel the heat radiating off, radiating off my skin. Um, and as I'm looking in the mirror, this eye, these my eyes start to bulge, they bulge, and then this eye, it swirls white, misty white, like pools of like white milk. And then this one swirls a deep dark black, murky black. And then they uh, they bulged out again and then they morphed back into my face and then my face became, um, you know, my, the face you see now. And at the time I also didn't understand that. I didn't understand a lot of what I was seeing within myself. I was like, what is this? Like, I, I don't understand what I'm seeing. Um, and I've realized that that could be the representation, the black and white especially could be the representation of the yin and yang energy, the masculine and the feminine. At least that's what I think it is. Um, and when I come to learn more, I would definitely be retouching back on these subjects. But for now, this is what I have come to a conclusion about. Um, I would definitely 
um, go into meditation, ask myself more questions like what am I, what did that mean, um, just to get more details on myself about what that meant. Um, and yeah, these, these, these energies that we have inside of us, bloodlines we have inside of us are very powerful, but it only, it only comes out if you want it to come out. And if you, if you face it, you can't be scared of yourself. You can't be scared of what you see. You can't be scared of who you are. Understand, no, understand who you are. Ask yourself, who are you? The more you understand who you are, the more you understand yourself, your soul, the easier things will be. You will know why you you are the way you are, <laughs> just by simply understanding what you are, what you resonate most with, and why. There's a reason for everything. There's no mistakes or coincidences, no such thing, only divine timing. But that is all I have for this video, and I will be back with another one. Until then, see you next time.